Hey everybody, Morbtrund here. Today we are looking at the new sidearm that was added in for Season 10 for Season Pass holders and was recently unlocked this past Tuesday for us to finally get and play with. It is the 7th Seraph SI-2. Now, my specific role here has a lot of range going for it. In fact, that's pretty much as much range as you can get on this thing. Maybe a little bit more if I were to actually finish out the masterwork, but I'm not wasting my cores on a sidearm. Um, so this thing here does have full auto and it has elemental capacitor. Now, elemental capacitor, if you are a void subclass, gives you extra stability. And this being a full auto sidearm with the full auto perk, it could come in handy. Now, 360 RPM sidearms are pretty lackluster. Pretty much any other sidearm archetype is going to do the job better, but this thing does have one saving grace in PvE, and that is that you can pair it up with Season 10 armor mods to spawn in Warmind Cells. Now, the one that I'm using here and showcasing has to go on a void piece of armor, and when you defeat a combatant with a 7th Seraph weapon, like the 7th Seraph SI-2, you have a chance to spawn in a Warmind Cell. And with this armor mod, you gain bonus weapon damage against enemies that are near that Warmind Cell, and it kind of highlights them. But there are other options that we have here. Um, we have this cheap one here that doesn't require any specific uh, armor type, any Void, Arc, or Solar, where Warmind Cells, they create uh, effect and damage targets in a greater distance. So the explosion is just bigger once you damage them. We have one where there's you do less damage to the Warmind Cell. It's not an instant explosion, but it creates a burst of void suppressing energy around it. We have this one here where you take reduced damage from enemies that are near Warmind Cells. There are many, many, many options. Uh, some have yet to be unlocked for Season 10 for these armor mods for the Seraph weapons. And that's really the saving grace for any of the uh, Seraph weapons in Season 10. Now granted, the shotgun is very good. I adore the shotgun in PvE. I think it is fantastic. But in uh, Crucible, the sidearm is pretty bad. It's not good. Uh, this archetype of sidearm is, I think, the worst weapon archetype in the entire game. Any weapon type uh, is going to be better to use in the Crucible than this archetype of sidearm. Now, in PvE, in this Lost Sector here, yeah, you can get away with it because it's a Lost Sector in PvE. Uh, but you can see here how that Warmind Cell is highlighting some of these targets, and I'm doing bonus damage to them when I shoot them with the sidearm. And you can also shoot the Warmind Cells for extra damage but in the crucible this thing is a hot pile of trash and i would not recommend using it at all but you also can't use warmind cells in the crucible either that'd be a little bit hard to balance i think so although it'd be interesting and fun i don't think it'd be uh, a very competitive thing to balance around but it would make these terrible seraph weapons slightly more usable in the crucible at least but i can understand why those don't exactly work in Crucible. It'd be impossible to balance around. Um, so yeah, as far as other, you know, Seraph weapons go, though, if you're looking for a weapon to use just to spawn in the Warmind Cells, I would recommend using the Auto Rifle. Um, I know next time we get a Warmind Bunker unlocked for IO uh, in a, a little over a week, uh, we will get the Hand Cannon, and the machine gun. Once all three of them are unlocked, you'll be able to get the machine gun, but the IO bunker gives us the hand cannon, and that should be a better option to use for sure than this sidearm. Now, the sidearm that I have here, this specific role, is about as close as I can get to an SMG as possible, uh, because I do, I'm a, I'm a fan of SMGs, especially in PvE, but sometimes in the Crucible as well, kind of depending on the role. But this is kind of like the, 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 the worst possible version of a SMG out there, unfortunately. But it's okay. It does its job, and the explosion radius on the 
Warmind cells is ridiculous, so that's definitely a good thing. Let's see if I can't get one to spawn in. I guess I guess not. That's fine. Oh, there we go. But it's not gonna be close enough. But the explosion radius is close enough. Eh, go away. But we're going to hop into Crucible now, so you can kind of see what a hot mess this thing is to use in the Crucible. Uh, compared to yeah, basically anything. Alright, so we're playing Control on Citadel, which is probably one of the worst maps possible for a sidearm. Um, but that's fine because it's not going to take me that long to say what I got to say about the sidearm. Oh, I actually got a kill with it. And then I died to uh, a grenade. Um, so yeah, the range stat on this sidearm. And granted, this, this one, like I said earlier... It's got accurized rounds, it's got hammer forge rifle, or hammer, yeah, hammer forge rifle. It's got a range masterwork that's not fully upgraded, but I'm not going to waste my cores on this weapon. Um, it's got about as much range as this weapon can get, and um, it's not good. Because, of course, well, it's, uh, it's a sidearm. And when you get outside of its range, uh, for whatever reason, sidearms, their bullets, they don't just get damage fall off, they also uh, go to Narnia. If you are outside of this weapon's effective range, chances are, even if your targeting reticle is directly over your target, uh, you will not hit them. So that's just, uh, that's just gonna happen. So I'm getting out-dueled by something like a hand cannon, uh, when someone is being as sweaty as the average Destiny 2 Crucible player that lives in the Crucible is, uh, you're gonna lose. Um, now, the only redeeming quality that this weapon has to it is its uh, special, um, its special Rasputin bunker mods, which uh, you can't use in the Crucible. So even though this thing is it's full auto, it's got everything going for it that it can possibly have going for it. It's got full auto. It's got uh, see the bullets just they don't hit targets. And then it gets sniped from across the map. Um, it's got full auto. It's got elemental capacitor, which is why I'm playing as a Void Titan right now. Because it gives you extra stability. Um, and I've got Backup Mag as a mod. And the reason for that is, without Backup Mag, it's only got 14 in the mag. So, not having Backup Mag on it really, really hurts. So, yeah, I'm trying to give this sidearm the best chance it possibly can have. I'm going to die to that Claws of the Wolf. Nothing I could do there. I don't have the range to go against it. Um, so, yeah, my advice is if you want to use uh, this sidearm in the Crucible is don't. Um, if you want to use a different sidearm in the Crucible, I would say go with something like a Breach Light or something that can actually get some range to it. Oh, okay, but uh, that happened. Um, but this weapon is just a, just a no-go. This is a hard pass from me. Um, and that's, that's really all I gotta say about it. I'm gonna try to bait this warlock. And the bullets, they just didn't hit. And then I just ate that shoulder charge. But he died for it, so that's fine with me. But yeah, that's uh, this 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 game is going really really slow. Uh, this enemy team is not wanting to push in whatsoever for some reason, and I just I don't know why. Did I hit them with my grenade? I don't think I did. That's fine though. Uh, but yeah, just don't use this sidearm in Crucible. The archetype is bad. Uh, its range is terrible. Um, there's better things that you could use. Got a two for one there. And that's going to end the Crucible portion of this video. Um, so yeah, don't use this sidearm in Crucible. It's bad. It's real bad. Um, so if you liked the video, hit the like button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If you are new here, subscribe for more uh, Destiny 2 content shenanigans stuff
subscribe for more stuff. Got him. Didn't get that guy, though. But yeah, don't, don't forget to have a good day, everybody. And I'll catch you all next time. Thank <laughs> you.